I'm actually so happy with the way this turned out. I'm not an artist, but every once in a while, my mind decides that I need to make a project. This is the story of one of those projects. The background is fully dry now, so we can actually go in and start putting Mark's face on this thing. So I messed the painting up. So we're starting over from scratch. But that's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. As Bob Ross always said, it's okay to make mistakes. I don't know if he actually said that, but it seems like something he would say. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. So let's just start over. Make something even better. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? If you're watching the video, you've probably already skipped ahead and seen if it turns out better or not. But I'm in the moment, so I have no idea. That's enough talking. I'm really happy with the way this canvas turned out, and I don't want to ruin it. And then I remembered, hey, I'm much better at Photoshop than I am at actually painting things. So I think what I'm going to do is do some line work and maybe even the colors in Photoshop and then transfer it to a transparent sheet and attach that so that we don't actually ruin the cool paint thing we have going on. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to do the colors on the transparency or if I'm going to paint them in like the old cells from cartoons. Maybe I'll do both and see which one looks better. And then I put that on there and then I put a coat of epoxy over it and I think it will turn out looking pretty cool when we're done. So uh, I'm gonna whip something up in Photoshop real quick just to give you an idea of what's going on in my brain, if that helps. I got a couple of these transparencies made up with just like the black outline of the picture. So we're gonna paint those in and see how it looks. Why am I wearing glasses? I don't like being able to see. Now just in case the paint doesn't stick or I just don't like the way it looks, I have these uh, colored transparencies made up too. So we can experiment with those. Or we can just stack them all together and get some sort of weird transparent Picasso work going on. So all of the paint is dried, which means we can take those individual pieces, cut them out, and then throw them all together and use some clear epoxy resin to hold them in place. And then we'll throw it onto the painting and epoxy over the full thing. Also, one other thing I noticed was if I took one of the colored ones and used that and cut it out really cleanly for the line work and put that over top, the colors really popped and it made for cleaner line work around the edges. And then hopefully I don't have to go over with black paint and a paintbrush and redo all the lines. So let's get to doing that. Hey guys, it's me, Markiplier, just doing Markiplier things. Just kidding, it's it's me, if you couldn't tell. It was, it's still me, Shane. Um, yeah. It's done, it's finished. I love the way that this turned out. I'm so happy with it. I think that the clear coat gives it like a nice shine, which I'm really happy about. Ah, I'm so happy with this. I'm so glad it turned out like this. I would love nothing more than to get this into the hands of Markiplier, but I don't know if he has a PO box and accepts stuff like this. So I'm gonna try reaching out on Twitter. Uh, chances are he won't see it. He's flooded with a million tweets from people a day, I'm sure. 
Um, so I'll put that up there. So in the very likely event that I'm not able to get through to him and send him this, um, I don't know, I'll find somebody who's a Markiplier fan and I would love to give this to you just as a gift. I can't believe that this project is finally done. I'm so happy. Uh, it was fun to work on. I loved getting to be a little artistic. I normally don't get to do this type of stuff, so I had a blast with it. Anyway, I love you lots. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now. I lose my self-restraint I think we don't